Hey guys, welcome at another video. My name is Rob, and if you're new here on this channel, we're talking a lot about music and guitar related stuff. So if you're interested in things like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will not miss out when the next video drops. Today, I'm going to show you the ultimate $5 Melkor drum sound. So if you're interested in this, Let's hop into this and I'm going to show you what do you need for this and how does it sound. Let's go. To show you on what do you need for the $5 Melkor drum sound, you're going to need three things. And this is the first one. You have to go to ugritone.com and now during the Black Friday, they have a pretty good sale. Uh, so you gotta open MIDI packs. And here we have a large amount of uh, MIDI tracks. I already bought this Melkor Essentials uh, MIDI pack with nearly 100 beats recorded from 100 BPM to 190 BPM, uses general MIDI mapping and, and stuff like that. So it usually costs $15, but now during the Black Friday, it costs only $5, which is a really good deal on what you get. The next thing you are going to need the, the perfect drums player, which is a free uh, virtual instrument plugin. This also has a paid version, but this one is for free and it's completely enough for what we need. And the third thing we're going to need will be the restraints kit from uh, Panda Sound, which is a free ready to use drum library mix ready you you gotta give it just a little bit of uh, tweaking maybe some reverb and eqing but really not that much you can do it with stock plugins in reaper and uh, this is for free so if you download it all these things and of course pay the five dollars for the melkor essentials you can go to your doll and let's see what we can get there all right so here we are in the reaper which is as you know an uh, free doll I already opened the whole MIDI pack. If you download the zip file, put all the, these drum MIDI drum sounds uh, to your project. If you open one, for example, you can see that the velocities are also already set. Probably the snares are all in red because in Melkor the snares are really strong hits. You open FX and I already loaded in the perfect drums uh, player and now we have to load in the restraints kit so you go here you click right and load sampler kit and you will open up the restraints kit load it up let's try some really cool sounds yeah and what i also like to add to this is some reverb so let's see which one maybe tall reverb 2 is cool yeah the small drum plate which will give a little bit of room to this track now what we're going to do is that we're going to try to create a melkor drum track uh, using just the names of this uh, midi track so intro verse chorus verse breakdown and some maybe last cruise or some other uh, part so let's have a look and let's build the ultimate five dollar melkor chord track I'm going to create a a track for this. As you can see, we have here some crap breakdowns which we might use later. All right, my friends. So the blind Malcor drum making is uh, done. Now we're going to listen what we made and if it's good enough to make a song over this track. Let's listen.
Right, so we just listened to the track I made. What I realized from the scratch was that we really need to give a more volume and uh, to add velocity on the cymbals because some of the cymbals were not so loud. So let's, for example, see if we're going to add some velocity on the cymbals in the last breakdown, if it's going to help a little bit. This might help. And let's listen to the last breakdown like this. I think it lacks a little bit of uh, strong song structuring, so it definitely needs a little bit of editing to be a song ready. But I think this is a, for five dollars. This is a pretty good deal of uh, already made breakdowns. Thanks to Rhythm for making song uh, for making things like this. And I think after a little bit of tweaking, this might be a pretty cool thing. All right. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. This was the five dollar Melkor drum sound. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you'll not miss out when my next video drops. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. See you. Bye.